Oh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's thinking. <laughs> doesn't, it doesn't say records or. Oh, but it does say though, being a movie star, sure beats working. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the boredom of it though just drives me crazy. That, the movie scene? Uh, of making movies, you know, all that sitting around waiting for the next thing. Okay, Bobby Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, Willie, welcome back to your stomping grounds. Thank you, Bob. It's Thank good you. to see you. Hey, listen, I got it. first of all, ask you about your movie. When is that coming out, Honeysuckle Rose? It premiered in Austin on July 3rd, and the rest of the country probably around the 18th of July, from what I hear. Big celebration in Austin? Yeah, they're going to make a big deal out of it, I think. How do you feel about it? Have you seen it? I've seen it, and I thought it was okay. I thought uh, everybody did good. The band did good. You know, everybody played a part in there in the band. I thought it was okay. The music was uh, real good. Johnny Gimble was in there, Kenneth Threadgill, and uh, uh, I wrote some new songs for it. Is it as much fun to star as it is to be in, like, Electric Horseman with Robert Redford? Well, yeah, it's more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, it gives me more to do. Uh, we were talking about, you know, the sitting around part of the movies. But when you uh, have a lot to do, well, then you're, there's always something to do when, you, when you're sitting around. I'm always trying to figure out what I'm going to do out there. What other projects do you have, film projects, coming up, really? There's another movie called Barbarossa that we're going to do in San Antonio that starts in September. And uh, that's with Gary Busey and myself. Mm -hmm. And it's a western of about 100 years ago, and we play a couple of outlaws. Willie, it, do you sometimes kind of pinch yourself and say, hey, Willie Nelson in the movies? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really do. But you're, you're pleased about it. Oh, I'm enjoying it so far. I haven't you know, been asked to do anything that was really hard, so uh, I'm liking it so far. Well, they say, you know, that the most successful actors are the ones who stick with the things that, um, the image that people have them, like Wayne, you know, yeah. and people yeah. like that. So uh, I, I can't wait to see it. wanted to ask you also, has it ever happened when you have sold out a concert before it was ever announced? Well, <clears throat> I'd like to say yeah, but I'm not really sure. I, I don't this one sold out so quickly. Oh, did we? Ah, oh, you know, a couple of announcements on radio and boom, you know. Well, that's good. It's got to make you very happy. It sure does. When you um, think back to early days of Longhorn Ballroom, what kinds of things happened to you then, really? Oh, I can remember when we used to play the Sportatorium early, and then we'd come over here and do the second show over here uh, at, the, uh, at the Dewey Groom's place here at the Longhorn Club. And, uh, they would kind of split the bill, and whoever was playing over at one place, they'd play over here, and they got the act, you know, for two shows a night, which was great. I picked up a lot of tricks from Dewey, though. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I enjoyed playing here. I always enjoy coming back and seeing Dewey Grimm. He's a good friend of mine. But that must have been in the, before the days of so much gear when you had to pack around. Now it takes a couple of hours to, you know, pack in and set up and everything. Yeah, but it puts more people to work. <laughs> well, what, what about the picnic this year? We're having one. This uh, will probably be the last one for a while. Uh, Why? Well, it takes a long time to put them together, and it's... Uh, I'd like a couple of years off anyway, and, uh, and not really get locked into having to do a picnic every year for the next 107 years. And this one will be where? It'll be at uh, Austin at the Perton Alice Country Club, same place we had the one last year. It's another reason uh, this is the second time in the same place, and I thought when I first went there that this might be a good idea, but uh, uh, I've found out now that it's really not that good idea to have it in the same place uh, twice, and uh, so I decided I'd just take off a while. Who are some of the people you'll bring in? Charlie Daniels will be there this year, Sleep at the Wheel, Ray Price, uh, Merle Haggard, uh, Farron Young, McGee's and Slaw Brothers. I probably forgot a few. Willie, do you really enjoy them, or are you so kind of uptight, you know, trying to take care of everything and everybody that it's, it's kind of a pressure thing for you? Well, I would like to uh, go to someone else's picnic. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, maybe you can get Merle to have a picnic. Yeah, really, that's <laughs> what I'm going to uh, suggest. Yeah, yeah. We can do the first annual Merle Haggard picnic next year, and then uh, the following year we can do the uh, first annual Bobby Wycant picnic. Terrific, terrific. If you'll come and be a part of it, well, I'll be glad that's to. the only way. Willie, what do you think about the new regulation now that is going to limit block voting in the Country Music Awards? Oh, well, could, maybe you could explain to me. Uh, well, what they're doing now, they're going to, as I understand it, put a limit on the number of memberships that any one record company may have among its members. Um, because they feel that, um, I guess, that, that uh, some record companies bought so many memberships for their people that it uh, put others at a disadvantage, other artists at well, a disadvantage. Well, I think that would be fair. I think uh, it, it would probably uh, remove temptations, maybe, uh, to do any block voting, which I really don't think is fair. Uh, so maybe that's a, a good starting place. Do you see anything else about awards shows that you would change if you could? Sure, I'd give everyone who uh, qualified or was nominated uh, the, the, the final four or five or whatever it was, I'd give them all equal awards. I uh, uh, really am not in favor of having one winner and four or five losers. It makes for a negative situation, regardless of how good an actor you might be. Uh, well, you're on nation television, you're supposed to act one way and say, well, I'm so glad that so-and-so won. And uh, when they're not, uh, you can't be. You're not supposed to be. And that's, uh, I, think that I don't think it should be even brought down to where one should compete against his, uh, you know, the people who are in the business with him. Doctors don't have awards. <laughs> they don't have CMA awards every year. Uh, lawyers, uh, if a guy does a good job, they may mail him one or something or give a dinner for him, but they don't do it on national television where the winners are applauded and the losers are stared at, you know, to see how they're going to react. Where do you have your awards, Willie? I don't have any awards. Oh, come on, I, you do. I'll have one tonight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Willie, good to see you, and we'll hope to get down for the picnic. Thank you very much, Bob. It's good to see Take you. Take care. Sure. Okay, Willie. Yeah. I enjoy watching it too, but I don't enjoy being up there. <laughs> <laughs> too close, Bill. <laughs> yeah, cheers. <laughs> what do you think of Urban Cowboy? I haven't seen it yet. Oh, yeah. I've just been listening to other people yeah. talk about it. I heard the music. I like the music. I went down to Gillies for the premiere and everything. Oh, it was it? fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, it, uh, yeah, it's a good movie, but not great, really. It's good, but not great. Okay. All right. Uh, now, you don't have to answer. I'm just doing the questions, repeating the questions. Okay. Willie, are you going to have a picnic this year? Where is it going to be? Who, who all is coming in for the picnic? Okay. All right. Willie, there's talk now that they're going to put some limitations on uh, companies buying a lot of memberships and having block voting for country music awards. What do you think about that? Willie, you have a new movie ought to be coming out pretty soon, Honeysuckle Rose. When is that premiering? Are they going to have a big celebration? Is it as much fun to be the star of a movie and have all that responsibility as it was making Electric Horseman with Robert Redford? Okay. Uh, I think that ought to do it then, Bill.